Most people do not realize the vastness of Indonesia. It is the largest island chain in the world, over 13,000 islands stretching 3,200 miles east to west along the equator. Home to 235 million people, the fourth most populous nation in the world. Islam is the dominant religion in this incredibly diverse country. 88% of its people identify themselves as Muslim, making Indonesia the world's largest Islamic country. Yet in contrast, a great move of the Holy Spirit is sweeping the nation. A visionary Indonesian pioneer, Ho El Senduk was mightily used of God to give leadership and direction to the Pentecostal movement called Gereja Bethel since its inception in 1952. When the church was in its infancy, God gave Dr. Senduk a vision of a movement that would encompass 10,000 churches covering the islands of the sea. Like Abraham, he saw things that were not as though they were. Dr. Senduk arrived at the 1958 World Pentecostal Conference in Toronto, Canada, praying to be led to a sister organization with whom to join hands. Providentially, he was seated next to Reverend Paul H. Walker, Director of Church of God World Missions. This began a relationship that blossomed into an amalgamated partnership with the Church of God. The covenant partnership was forged over 40 years ago with the two principals being Dr. Senduk and Dr. Charles Kahn, then presiding general overseer of the Church of God. The relationship that was established was scripturally based and culturally contextual. One of the traditional social concepts of Indonesia is called Gotong Royong, or mutual assistance. Both bodies are working together to fulfill the Great Commission each halfway around the world from the other. We celebrate the legacy of Dr. Senduk's ministry and his influence upon Greja Bethel, as well as the Church of God. Greja Bethel Indonesia remains passionate and true to the vision of 10,000 churches, as in the first 40 years, well over 5,000 have been established. To reach this goal, this valiant leader developed a strategy of training ministries and setting them free to dream big. And big churches marked the Indonesian experience. One church now has more than 150,000 members and many others have a membership of multiple thousands. Buildings to seat 10,000 and 15,000 are currently under construction to accommodate the crowds of worshipers. In 1968, the Department of Youth and Christian Education chose the building of a seminary in Jakarta as its Youth World Evangelism Action Project. This imposing building, dedicated in 1971, offers a school of evangelism, a school for Christian teachers, and a theology and education institute. Thousands of graduates from this ministry partnership are actively engaged in realizing the dream. The blessings have been reciprocal, these open-hearted brothers and sisters on the other side of the world who were once recipients of our gifts have sent generous offerings in support of ministries in the U.S. Church of God people feel at home in the worship services of Greja Bethel. Warm-hearted worshipers lift their hands in praise, rejoice in singing, and hear the preached word with gladness. They do a wonderful job of translating the messages they hear into action, embracing an enthusiasm for evangelism and sharing their faith that would challenge Christians anywhere. As a result, their churches are often filled several times each Sunday. The dream of 10,000 churches that God gave Ho Senduk is still a goal to be reached, but the Church of God and Greja Bethel, hand in hand, will certainly see it come to pass.